Hello all, welcome back to another YouTube video. So sorry it took so long for me to create another video, but I've got quite an exciting one. So I've picked up the C32 AMG, I've had it for about a couple of weeks now. I won't do much talking in this one to show you the car itself. So yeah, check out this guys. that little bit of footage that i managed to get together and um, the weather's not been great so that's why it has took some time in getting the deal together really so i do apologize for that but yeah so what we've got here is um we've got a 2002 mercedes-benz c32 amg guys before we do move on to the video please do make sure that you do like share and subscribe this video i am looking to of course create plenty of videos on this share my experiences with this car and let you know what costs are involved in owning a 20 year old amg hopefully not too many but um yeah got plenty of videos lined up on this one so please do definitely like share and subscribe it's finished in this lovely orient metallic blue I was a big, big, big fan of this colour. When I saw the colour and of course the car, it was a no-brainer but to get it. But yeah, it's got the lovely 17-inch, of course, AMG alloys. Eagle-eyed viewers will see it's got the AMG caps on it as well. Not too sure about that. Should I leave that on or should I change it to the Mercedes caps? Something that I will look into. But for this moment of time, it is definitely a wonderful looking car. So it's got these 17 inch twin spoke AMG alloys. Big, big, big fan of these. Always have been when they first came out as well. Honestly, can't believe I've actually managed to actually get one now. So excited to be behind the wheel of such a car. And of course, owning it. Got so many videos that I do want to create on this. But yeah, a little bit more about the spec of the car. Of course, like I said, it's an Orient Blue. Um, it does have the two tone interior. So black and blue, again, big big fan of it as you can see got, got the amg embossed in the seats has a c32 on the gear stick there it's got amg there always reminding you that you are sat in a little amg so yeah, just to walk you around the car as you can see it has some aftermarket facelift rear lights on it not really a fan of that, it's something that I'm probably going to change. Um, as you can see the AMG exhaust there, no messing around, the C32 patches. It does look really, really smart. The previous owner as well definitely had some good taste, so what he's actually done already, without me having to do any of that kind of stuff, is that he's actually lowered it already um i believe he's put hr springs on it and it just sits absolutely perfectly i think the only other tweak that i might do to it is probably space it out so it just looks a bit more fuller um but in terms of the height of the vehicle and the way it sits on the wheels now does look a lot better i think something that i would have done anyway but it's already done so win-win situation here Sorry guys, I just sat in the car because it's absolutely freezing outside and I believe you probably, probably hear me as well because it is really windy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you as well the interior of it properly. It is the Napa leather this car has. Honestly, this car is on another level and so is the interior quality, especially the seats in particular. The, the feeling of it, it is of a very high standard and in an AMG, it is something that you do require. So just to talk you through of what the previous owner has done to the car, um, of course he is a bit of a fanatic, so he has really, really looked after it. Um, he's he's regularly serviced the car, which is good 
to know. I suppose when you're buying a 20 year old AMG, you do want that peace of mind that the car has been looked after. But yeah, so it's been regularly serviced. It's just recently had a gearbox service as well, which again, very reassuring. Um, a fun fact about this car as well, what I was told. So these cars are meant to be produced. I think it's 350 brake horsepower, 352, 354 brake horsepower. They're meant to be producing, but this car was put on a dyno run and it was actually producing 370 brake horsepower. Um, I do believe that because when I have been driving, I, like I said, I've had it for a couple of weeks now, I have been driving A, a to B in this car and it has been an experience. I don't want to go too much into that. I'll leave that for another video, of course. I'm going to do it the proper YouTuber way and make detailed videos on my journey with this car and each and every step i'll have it all documented and i'll show them to you in terms of what i want to do to the car i believe i briefly touched upon it uh, when we were outside but yeah i think it's already well it's already been lowered which is one of the things that i want to have done to it just to make it look this make the stance of it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing that's already done which is brilliant um the only thing that i would do to it further to that is space the wheels out again just making the car look a little bit lower a little bit more full um i think that would really really look really pleasing to the eye especially when the wheels are filled out to the arch it will look really really good i think and um, so working i will work towards that and get the wheels spaced out in terms of other things that there's on the car itself of course it's a 20 year old merc the quality of the car of the exterior the metals that we use weren't great they do rust unfortunately so there are some rust spots around the car um i am going to get that of course all sorted out again i will be videoing all that documenting my whole journey with this and have that sent across to you in terms of other things i want to do there are some little there are some minor issues within the car itself i believe the driver side he just he doesn't work but the passenger side does lucky passenger um but yeah so just get st stuff like that sorted out and just minor little details that do need a bit of tlc a bit of time spending on it and just bring it back to how it would have been when it was brand new but yeah really excited about the journey that i'm gonna have with this car but yeah guys so we've managed to finally get an amg on the channel our own amg I'm so excited to create so many videos on this yeah so just guys please do make sure that you have liked the video shared it subscribed it most importantly do subscribe to the channel and yeah stay tuned for plenty more content to come